Welcome back to Studio 10 on this Wednesday. Do you guys decorate for Valentine's Day? No. No? Well, we have a solution for you. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and Martha Stewart Living has some great <laughs> ideas and on fun and super cute projects that you can do with your kids. So there you go. This could be the year to get it going. This is it. Valentine's Day all day. Take a look at just how easy and fun it can be. Hey guys, this is Elise Moody, Senior Editor at Martha Stewart Living, and I'm here to share some really fun Valentine's Day ideas with you, starting with some great DIY pop-up cards. So to make this guy, it's really easy to get the 3D element. We use these paper honeycombs. So that's what creates your apple in the center. You just need to cut a little notch on the top to give it that apple shape. Otherwise, you need construction paper, some glue, I use hot glue to make it really easy, some paint pens, and some scissors. So cut out your other apple shapes. You're going to need a leaf and an eye for the bottom. Crease a piece of construction paper down the center and glue them right at that center fold. Then you're going to use your paint pen to add all the other elements, like your message and those cute eyelashes down there. Finally, put a little hot glue on either side of your paper honeycomb ball. Open it up and press it down right in the center. Then you're ready to just let it dry and you can fold it up, put it in an envelope and give it to somebody you love. We also have some great ideas for Valentine's breakfast in our January issue, including this really sweet idea for little kids. Um, you're going to use a silicone heart-shaped mold like this. Um, they're for candy making. You can find them online. You might already have one for making chocolate. So I set it down on a baking sheet just to make it a little bit easier to take in and out of the freezer and fill the molds with strawberry milk or a strawberry smoothie. Let it set overnight and then pop them out. You're going to get something that looks a little bit like this. Just a sweet little heart and you can plonk it right down in a glass of milk and give it to your kids for breakfast. For more fun ideas, visit us at MarthaStewart.com or pick up a copy of our January, February issue and I hope you have a great day. I'm sold. That goes further than the candy hearts that I usually get that say like, be mine. Are they chocolate candy or are they like No, the no, no. Tart? They're the little like sugar ones. Be mine. What's up? Um, I don't know if any of them say what's up. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think any of those say what's up. <laughs> so, so cute. Smoothie hearts for Valentine's Day or how about smoothie shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day. That's also coming up too. There you go. Martha Stewart Living is published by the parent company of the station, the Meredith Corporation.